and good morning people. Welcome back to Dark Chronicle. So far we have gained three gems of the elemental nature. We've got the wind, the earth and the water. We've still got a fire one to get hold of which is in Mount Gundor which is conveniently where I am. So uh, let's go looking for the fire gem shall we? Not really much to go on, just let's head in. I've upgraded a couple of weapons, but not really uh, uh, built them up yet because I'm still waiting for a couple of uh, small stat increases, which I need actual uh, items for. I could use the smaller ones, but uh, I really can't be bothered to wait uh, to do that. I'd rather get the efficiency out of it and wait for the bigger ones. Anyways, Red Fox. Uh, let's take them out with uh, Max's gun. Which isn't too hard. Uh, where's my Tropic gun? It's plus five now. Let's get it up a bit further. And do we have Mimics? Not sure yet, we've still got a stone tea though. And yes we do have Mimics. I'm not sure what it is about that third hit, but it never seems to hit for me. When using that, uh, the Sigma Breaker. Might be just timing it wrong, but uh, I don't think I am. Right, so what else do we have around here? Heat wear. Um, you're a skeleton, so you will be weak against the wrench. Yeah, you're just a basic skeleton. Okay. I really have no trouble taking you out with that. You, on the other hand, might be a bit of a pain to get hold of. Red Fox I'm not worried about. I can take them out easily with the gun. Rolling rocks. I can beat these ones up with the uh, with the wrench. I don't really need the ride pod for these. So, so far, nothing's really too dangerous. And everything seems to be Max favoured. Living armour and another of the heat waves. Heat wares, sorry. Yeah, yeah we set the that third and fourth hit don't seem to like hitting the small objects. Which gives them the chance to hit me, which isn't nice. Okay. Yeah. They, they look like they're hitting, but they aren't. What do you need? Okay, none of those are needed. Uh, I still need triple cracker and Arthur. Okay, so not not likely to get them in here. Let's heal up because I don't really want to 
have another game over like I did in the last part. Wrong button. That's what I want just to check how far I am on the map. And more red foxes. Let's actually put my good weapons in. Because I can actually do damage with these. That should be a plus seven after this second red fox. Yes, it will be. Excellent. And there we go. Okay, now let's live in armor. Yeah, um, I guess it's just the size of the enemy that's the real problem, not the wrench itself. It does make it a bit harder to uh, kill things with, though. And yeah. Some people who play this game do say that the if you're really in the later areas of the game that although the wrench is good and hits hard, the hammer is the better option because and I believe I'm see, starting to see why. And that's because of the way the, the wrench's animation works. There's not as many hits because of the size of the enemy. Our band repair powder and... Destruction crystals. Okay. So that's this side cleared out. But yeah, the uh, animation and the hitbox hitting the enemies is a bit harder, so I am beginning to see why the hammer is a better option, because you're more likely to get all the hits in, even though it hits less times. Oh. Antidote drink, okay. Not really special, but I'll take it. So, anything else we are going to get today? You first, I think. Rolling rocks. And... I knew you was going to try that ring, uh, spin one. There we go. Using a bit of my head and my uh, cheese, but I can always make more if I need to. I do believe I can actually make quite a few. Yeah, uh, I'd need to go and buy flour, but yeah, that's not really that troublesome. Hunt crystals, that's good. I, I will need a few of them in the future. And sea, uh, sea dragon crystals. And there's the exit. Don't really need them right now. This is the clan. Which shall it be? Um, Very let's good. go yellow. Here you are. Wildcat. This is the upgraded version of the uh, Star Breaker, I do believe. Uh, where is it? Yeah, Star Breaker, and I believe the Wildcat is the next stage up. So, 34, 
57, yeah. So, that's not too bad to find. I've already got enough weapons that I'm working on, but uh, I suppose another one won't hurt. Oh. That was a bit odd, but uh, okay. That's a plus five cubic hammer, so that one needs to be upgraded now. Don't think I want to go any higher than plus five on that actually. Okay, red fox. Yep. And where is that? Trumpet gun. I'm currently working on... Do I need... Yeah, I'll, I'll go with the... Uh... There we go. Hmm. Let's go with my stinger wrench this time. I may have to start using my... Uh smaller ones, the plus twos to elements and stuff, but uh, I'm going to hold off as long as I can. I keep pressing the wrong button. I'm so used to, pray, uh, to changing the map with, a, with that button with another game. Uh. Anyways, okay, up here we'll go first. Got five enemies and two chests. You know what? You can have the rock to the face. And that's plus two. Living on. Yep. And that was it. So you're wanting to get some uh, damn it off didn't block long enough. There we go. Well, now that that's over with, we've got another red fox. Don't know where I'm throwing that, but I think that had an item in it. Oh well, what can I do now? Not much about it. Anyway, let's use our stone tea. And I don't know where the camera's looking there. And our final enemy is another limb living armor. Who doesn't seem all that interested in me. And that's all the enemies. Okay, so no more minutes. All right, that takes care of you guys. So what do we have for our last two chests, and where is the speed for this level? More sea dragon crystals. Some wind crystals would be nice, or some lightning crystals. But uh, there's the map. So I didn't get either. Well, this one shouldn't be too hard, but uh, 
I've failed easy ones before. So, quick hit to the side here. And shoot, go in. There we go. That was pretty easy. So what's our reward for this level? We're looking for the earth uh, looking for the final the fire gem. More level up powder. Uh, as amazing as that stuff is, I haven't really had a use for it yet just yet. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to have a use for it, except maybe for brass arts. That's the only place I can see myself using them. Yeah. But we'll see in the future. I've got 17 now, I suppose I should uh, really try it. Explo explosive Hot Spring. Use only the ride pod. Might as well. But first, let's go and get some uh, health back. Probably going to be running into a rolling rocks and maybe some more of the rock monsters now. Or we could have some ice bits in a volcano. Which makes so no sense, but uh, let's go with it. I think uh, experience proceeds can go to the uh, I need to get my bra uh, magic bar sides up a bit fund. Equip the uh, kitchen knife and move on. Uh, what do we have? A flaming nail. Do you believe these are basically upgraded versions of the uh, big uh, skeletons earlier? And I will have to go with yes on that as well. Uh, do I have any uh, right pod skill? Yes, I do. I completely forgot they had that ability. Now that I know, um, that, well, now that I remember that they do, I'll be able to avoid it a little bit. Did something just? F I'm sure something just jumped up over the side there. And we've got a fire spirit as well. So, well, you didn't last long. It does help having a chill component on your weapon, doesn't it? There's a map. And another fire spirit. Okay, so this is going to be pretty easy for the ride pod to deal with. The hardest part is actually going to be switching between 
ride Pod and Monica all the time. Why do a lot of enemies though? And a mimic. Yeah, let's get the right put out skin. And that's down. I'm not really too worried about mimics. They might hurt my right pod a little bit, but uh I'm really not worried about any of the enemies here. They're not really... ...that much of a danger to any of them, my characters. Repair powder and another move. And there we go. Okay. You a mimic? No, you're not. You're the stone tea, which is actually what I'm going to go and do in just a moment, because it's nearby. And you're down. Is that the triple cracker? It is indeed. So that's one uh, one enemy that I needed. Okay, that's you down. So back to Monica. And Flaming Nell is down. So, uh, no, what item? Plus 9 cr kitchen knife, and I've almost got a plus 11 brass art. Um, let's uh, change that a bit. Uh, I think I need to do is go with the gold on that and uh, build that up that way. So it corresponds with these and I can give it to the Poco call later. One thing I don't know is the upgrade on this, what's needed for the... Uh, for it to be levelled up. I think it's 15. Either 15 or 18. So let's go up in stages. It's slow, but I don't want to over overuse my items. Even though I've got 103 uh, flame crystals at the moment. It's probably 18. But that's my third gold brass side. This one's a bit better than the other two because I've built it up from a magic one. But they'll all get their... They'll all get their dues in the end, I guess. Blue paint and... Mimic. Nope. More blue paint. It is indeed. Which shall it I be? went for yellow again last time, so let's go again. Here you are. 
I would have liked the uh, poker call there. Oh well. Off they go, and let's go and see what enemy is down here. This single enemy in this single room. I guess it really doesn't matter because... Uh, the uh, ride pod's going to kill it no matter what it is. Let's uh, pick up a few of these. Let's see if I can get a, uh, that ride pod fuel back. Gun repair powder? Almost as good. So, quite a bit still to go. There's probably going to be more mimics, so. Speaking of them. And you're down. Yep. On to the next. Are you a mimic? No, you're not. You're some gun repair powder as well. No, uh, my monster transformation will not do the job here. Is it is extremely weak now. Because it just has never been used outside of uh, Starlight Canyon proper. Four enemies, three chests, any of those could be mimics. Mm. So, might as well go down the line. Fun development. Even more blue paint. I'm guessing the game wants me to paint something blue. What? I have no idea, because Geo Armor is basically finished now. I do believe that's a plus 10... Uh, yeah, plus 10 kitchen knife, so let's go to... Serpent Slicer, I think. I'm starting to pick up bread again. While I've been looking for this... Uh, these ride pod repair powders, so... I might have to use some of them later. And last chest is a mimic. Because why not? Might have to repair the weapon in a moment. The Psy Spirit will take the one more. And he's got one... Yep, prepare. So I've got one more enemy, and I doubt I'll be able to kill it in one shot. Especially when it's an ice elemental, or an ice spirit. I didn't move for some reason to the side. That was a bit of a mistake. 
Uh, luckily, right boss can ta take that sort of hit now. Looks like we got them all. So we get a medal for that. And well, okay. I don't think I'm going to get this one due to the fact that uh, I'm trying to go around a corner. Let's try something in really risky. Well, that didn't go quite as planned. So, let's try something even more risky. Almost worked. <laughs> but of course it didn't, so nothing really is much to say about that now. So off to the exit. Um where's that uh, bench of mine? Uh, we'll let Maloki go through the exit I guess. Max has been doing a lot of the heavy lifting in this area. He took most of the enemies in the first one and Steve has been killing everything here so hopefully Monica gets a level. Hopefully nothing too dangerous but uh, let's uh, head off and see what we've got. Crazy Mountain. No seal on this uh, section, so that's interesting. But that's for next time. So I guess we're almost finished with this chapter. We've almost got the fire gem. Hmm. Well, until next time where we go up the crazy mountain and then into the final area for Mount Gundor. Have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye. <laughs>